Is it harder to live the Buddhist life now or in the time of the Buddha? Mm. I, I can only guess because I have no idea, you know, what it was like living at the time of the Buddha. I guess one having the Buddha around might have been an inspiration. You would sort of uh, have a sense of his um, kindness, his energy, his, his wisdom. Uh, well, it, to, to the degree to which one would be receptive to that. Um, so that would be an inspiration, having a living example. Uh, also, maybe people lived lives that were more uh, simple in some ways. Like the, there wasn't uh, all the distractions that we get nowadays, mobile phones, computers, television, you know, mass advertising. Um, but I imagine there was also downsides, you know, that actually maybe life was a struggle. Um, just kind of getting enough food, you know, it not being guaranteed how much food you would get. And that can, can perhaps be a plus in terms of realising the, the fragility of life, whereas in the West we don't realise the fragility of life. You know, uh, whereas lots of people in the world, uh, there is a lot of uh, insecurity about their future and their, you know, their ongoing day-to-day -day struggles to live. Whereas in the modern world, we don't, we're not in touch with that, I don't think. So, on the whole, I think it probably is uh, more difficult, not having the personal example. Uh, and being less uh, in touch with the the fragility and uh, yeah, the fragility of life.